Hey, I saw that sign hanging in the tree and it said expert level valet wanted. So I was thinking this is like the best job ever. I have all the skills for that. So just a little bit about myself. I've actually learned to drive since I was four years old. So I was trained in the most prestigious academy. It's kind of like Harvard, but in driver's ed form. And it was basically called Mickey Mouse's Driving Academy. So they teach everybody in group session all the way from newborn to 125 year olds. So I was really taught by the best in the best atmosphere and the best technology. And I went all the way from beginner all the way into AAA rated proficiency and the advanced courses. And so just to like, you know, cut the boring part, advanced was like very difficult. They told us to parallel park within, I think it was a 75 foot space between two cars. So I really had a tough time. Honestly, everybody did. Mickey Mouse said himself, it took him about 25 tries to get it down, but I actually got it down on the fourth try. And I eventually got so good that when it got to driver's ed, I passed my permit test on like the 20th try and my license on the 40th try. So I definitely think that I'm one of the best drivers out there. And you know, I also learned just as a side for safety. I learned a lot of the best of the best techniques, how to use the brake pedal, how to you know hit the hazard lights, and then also how to clean the wiper blades to make sure for good visibility when driving. So I know now like there's Teslas and it's all automated, but it's still good to have that manual proficiency of knowing how to do that because we still don't have fully electric cars and fully autonomous cars out there. So I think if you look at your competitors, you'll see that they're actually willing to pay 50 to $60 an hour based on certificates and training. I can get you everything. Mickey and Donald, they signed everything. So I got it all in a box. Um, I don't know where it is, but I'll fax it to you when I have time. And then I wanted to talk another thing. Business Weekly in their magazine, they were mentioning it's good to be transparent about healthy job environments and to not cause future conflicts between employees and the employer. So I wanted to mention, I am scared of heights. So I won't be driving SUVs and I don't like extra long vehicles like, you know, limos. And I also don't like cars that seat more than two people. So I'll be driving the smart cars. And if anybody else comes in, I'll tell them, hey, you can drive this one. So just to make sure everyone is very clear on what they're able and what they feel like doing. So I think that makes for a very good, healthy environment. Aside from that, I saw in the European School of Journalism, they said that to have a longer life and happier life, you have to work less. And I'm very comfortable with that. And I believe their references and everything. So I'm here and very pleased to tell you that I am fully understanding of very solid work ethics and I'm willing to work about four hours a week. If you need overtime, I can bump that to four and a third hour a week. So I could definitely do this. It's not a problem whatsoever. Um, as you can tell, I have skills, I have work ethic. You know, I read a lot about health and wellness, so I know what's right to do. And basically, I'm ready for the job. So you can now pay me on PayPal, Venmo, or I can go to your competitors. So, you know, just let me know.